Welcome back to the anime of life. Today, I will recap Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody. The story begins with a 29-year-old programmer, and he is named Suzuki Aikairu. He's been busy working on a game development team, and now he's fixing bugs in the game Freedom Fantasy. Life at the same time, there is a problem with novice players needing help completing the war. World game so they want the level of difficulty lowered because that he prepared an item that revealed the map and three bombs to defeat the enemy even though it is simple to implement it. Takes a long time in the end, he worked for days until he fell asleep and never woke up again. After that he suddenly woke up in another world with the combination of the two games he was developing before he plays a character named Sato whose face returns to his 15-year old high school days even though his status and level were still very weak an army of lizard men was heading his way Sadhu who felt pain when hit by a lizard man attack he panicked and immediately used three meteor skills resulting in an army of monsters being slaughtered. Even though there is one lizard man who is still alive, Saad who manages to defeat him. He was already level 310 after defeating many monsters and obtaining a large amount of loot and money besides that he also gets many skill points to improve his abilities. Then he raised the level of his meteor skill and tried the skill to be sure of the destructive power it caused but the explosion was too big for him. Fortunately, he managed to get out of that place after that Saad who uses the loot he has obtained and strengthens himself by maximizing his power status. Then he intended to go to the nearest town, but suddenly he was hit by the dragon wiper. Fortunately, he wasn't injured because he was already level 310. Then the dragon immediately ran away after being thrown a rock by Sato. However, the dragon headed toward where the city warriors were warriors attacked the dragon. Then there was a beautiful girl who attacked the dragon with magic. But instead, she was blown away into the sky. Seeing this, Soto immediately saves her and gets the title of savior. Foreign, the beautiful girl named Zena was grateful and fell in love with Satuage. Then came Zena's friends who suspect Soto, but Saad who manages to gain their trust with reasoning and counterfeiting abilities boosted to the full. After that, they allow Saad who to come with them to the city in return for saving Zena. Once there, Zena says she will return to repay Sadha's kindness. Then Saad who made an identity letter so he could live in the city. When Satu registered, he was still level one because he hid his true status from others. Then he was permitted to live in the town, but he had to pay taxes every 10 days. Otherwise, he would become an enslaved person in the city. After that, Saad who wanted to find an inn suddenly, there was a beautiful 13-year-old girl named Martha Foreign. Once there, Soto intends to target Martha's mother, even though Martha is a beautiful young girl. You can be sure this main character has his taste. When Satu needs clothes, Martha will accompany him to find new clothes. Soto enjoyed shopping with Martha even without realizing he was buying things he didn't need because he got carried away. Meanwhile, some enslaved people are demi-humans who are treated harshly. Seeing this, Soto immediately protects them, even said who helped tidy up their luggage. Martha explained the demi-humans were hated in the city because some of them had killed humans after finishing buying daily needs. Saad who returned to the end to rest. The next day, Zena invites Soto to tour the city. They headed to the trading center and bought various delicious foods, but someone bumped into Zena and got her clothes dirty. Fortunately, a wizard can clean it up, so her clothes are clean, and they continue their date. Comfortably afterward, they headed up the wall to feel the fresh breeze and see the beautiful scenery. When they got on the horse-drawn carriage, they saw the residents throw three enslaved people stones because the head priest accused them of being followers of the demon, even though it was a lie to make money. Saad, who also knows there, are provocators there so he paralyzes them and arrests the owner of the three enslaved people. Foreign revealed his crime. Suddenly a demon came out of his body. The demon instantly teleported them all into the labyrinth. While in the labyrinth, Soto was separated from Zena, but he was with the previous three enslaved people since the three don't have names. Saad who gives them the name Lisa Posey and Toma then Satu gives Lisa a weapon so she can protect them from the labyrinth monsters while Posey and Toma will watch over the around. Then they meet a monster 
and Soto easily defeats it using a magic weapon. Forin took the monster's core and she explained that the monster core could be sold to merchants for money. After that Sadhu wanted to raise their level to become stronger by fighting monsters so that they can defeat the monsters without help from Satu because fighting makes them tired. Sadhu gives them food and asks them to sleep so their stamina recovers then they continued exploring the labyrinth Forin. Forin they found that there were many people trapped in the cobwebs once freed they will help Soto in return for saving them. Then they meet a soldier having trouble fighting a slime monster but Satu and the others easily defeat the slime by destroying its core. There is also Xena she is happy to be reunited with Soto when they wanted to continue exploring the labyrinth. The soldiers suddenly found a treasure chest but the previous demon appeared from inside the chest. The demon used hypnosis so that the soldiers foot each other Saad who immediately paralyzes Lisa, Posey, and Thomas so they don't fight each other. But he is attacked by a monster which makes him fall into a ravine. Luckily he can still survive. Soto uses the holy sword to defeat the monster. Ibn Soto uses a mask to hide his identity when fighting demon monsters. When the demon is cornered, a stronger demon appears there, and Satu manages to injure it with low-level fire magic, also uses the magic sword, and slashes the demon. After the demons are defeated, they can get out of the labyrinth. Satu allowed Lisa and the others to continue along with him besides that he also contracted with other enslaved people named Derisa and Lulu. Erisa is a cheerful girl, while Lulu is a shy girl. Saad who bought them because he suspected that Erisa was from Japan. Sato treats his enslaved people with great care, giving them good food and choosing nice clothes. When they returned to the inn it turned out full, so Lisa and the others sleep in the stables, while Sadhu sleeps with Arisa and Lulu getting used to being enslaved people Arisa and Lulu want to give Sato a night service, however Sadhu doesn't want to do that because he doesn't want to get the lol leak in title Lulu suddenly burst into tears of joy and slept comfortably that night at the same time Marisa doesn't give up and uses seduction skills to make Satu feel horny see. Immediately order Derisa not to use the skill Harissa does that because she is in love with Soto. Then Arisa introduces herself as a Japanese person reincarnated in that world. That's why Erison knows that Satu is Japanese from his appearance. Not only that, but Lulu also looks Japanese because her grandfather is Japanese. Then Soto asks why Arisa could become enslaved. And Arisa tells that she used to be a princess. She used the knowledge of the old world to make her kingdom prosperous. But there was someone who betrayed and made the kingdom fall in the end. Arisa the princess was forced to become enslaved. After that, the kingdom was suddenly attacked by demons until it was destroyed. Meanwhile, Arisa and Lulu managed to escape and headed for the forest. While in the woods, they get lost and are picked up by slave traders. The next day, Xena visits the inn and a misunderstanding occurs because Sadhu sleeps with another woman. Sadhu immediately chases after her and explains the truth to resolve their misunderstanding. At times like that Sadhu gave her compliments and asked her around so their relationship got better. Erisa and the others are shopping. Sadhu and Xena look for houses or inns that demi-humans can use. A woman named Natty suggests various dwellings from an empty house where there was a murder. Home close to a brothel to the house of a former criminal's union. All of that isn't suited to be a place for Sadhu to live. He had to return later this afternoon because Natty would be looking for another house after that Sadhu and Zena wanted to see a drama performance. And when they headed there they met Teresa and the others. As a result they all watched drama performances together. The play tells of a dead wizard who becomes undead and takes revenge on a bastard noble because a noble had taken his wife and even killed his entire family. So he wanted revenge and killed the nobleman, but after the revenge was over he was killed by a holy knight. After watching the drama Xena meets her friends who are injured at the same time there are flying ants attacking the city. Even though there was a barrier in the town, some flying ants managed to penetrate it. Come on. And even one of the monsters broke into Natia's house. Natty was rescued by Saad who and her manager, who is elf, so Natty gives them a kiss in exchange for saving her in the afternoon. The monsters were defeated, 
and could return to the end comfortably. Then at night, Sadhu went around town and met residents who took Satu to a beautiful woman's place because he was carried away by lust. Sadhu got female satisfaction skills. However, after that a shadowy figure attacked him, Farin defeated them all and met the mouse man carrying a princess. Sadhu takes them to Neti's house and the princess is an elf named Mia. The next day Sadhu returns to the inn knowing Sadhu stopped by the brothel. Erisa is annoyed even though she also wants to give a night service to Soto. After that Sadhu checked Mia's condition and her condition was healthy while Mia was very interested in Sadhu because there were many spirits around Satu. But Satu doesn't see where the spirits are foreign. Offers a horse carriage to Satu knowing that Lulu can drive a horse-drawn carriage. Sadhu decides to buy it and gives the money to Natty to prepare it. After finishing lunch, Natty delivered the carriage and documents, so Soto officially became the owner. He soon learns to ride it together with Lulu, even though Lulu is quiet, but it turns out she talks a lot when talking about Teresa when Satu is learning to drive a horse-drawn carriage, a suspicious owl, was always watching wherever they were. When he returns to Natty's place, the undead king suddenly appears who wants to kidnap Mia. The undead king used magic to paralyze their consciousness, but Erisa managed to counteract the magic, then Sato immediately fights against him. Meanwhile, Erisa uses a unique skill and manages to injure him, but he immediately took Mia somewhere. Seeing this, Sato immediately chased after him. In the end, he was trapped in a shadow prison. However, Sato escaped the shadow prison and arrived at the undead king's headquarters, he said only heroes who managed to overcome obstacles should be there. So suddenly Sadhu is moved outside, and it turns out that he has to overcome obstacles to save. Mir Sadhu explored the place from the first floor. He also looked for a shortcut to go to the 200th floor, so he met Dryad, who could move him to the 100th floor. But Saru had to give her magic energy. My upon arriving at the 100th floor, Satu encounters a female homunculus and an iron golem. Fortunately, Sato knows the golem is weakness, which is why he can beat it easily. Homunculus 5 and 6 flee elsewhere. However, Sadhu managed to make homunculus 7 faint head shortly after that he reached the 200th floor and met the king of the undead. The undead king will hand over Mir if Sadhu defeats the six homunculus and golem. Sadhu has a much higher level than them because that Sadhu cannot be beaten by them. Even though they knew they couldn't win, they fought hard to fulfill the undead king's wish. After that Sadhu meets the undead king and gets the holy sword, then he told Sata that he was a reincarnation. After getting a new life in that world, he lives happily with his wife. But one day a nobleman snatched his wife and his family was executed on trumped-up charges. However, he revived as the undead king and avenged himself by slaughtering the nobles. After achieving his goal, he intends to die to meet his wife, but the gods gave him immortality. That's why he was looking for someone who could end his life at that time. Only Saad who could do it. Foreign disappeared from there. All the floors in that place were destroyed. However, the undead king had prepared a teleporter tin for Mia knowing this Sard who gathers six homunculus to be beside Mia so they can be saved. Meanwhile, Sard who saved homunculus number seven, even though they managed to get him out of that place, they were chased by a huge wave of water. After that, Sard who survived and was reunited with the others, the homunculus thanks Sard who and one of them decided to go with Satu. She was given the name Nana. Then Satu returns to the city and meets Zina. Zina is very worried about Sato because she loves Sard who very much. Sard who intends to leave the town the next day to take Mia back to the elf village. Before that Zina wanted to go with Satu. But Zina had to wait for spring to come because his younger brother or sister would be the head of the family. So that Zina can freely choose her path in life to join the adventure with Satu. Then Erisa talked about storing items that are usually in the game. Parisa can use them to store luggage. However, storing the item consumes a lot of magic energy. The journey that Sato and the others took went smoothly. They didn't even encounter any attacks from monsters or bandits. Then they rested somewhere while repairing the straw pads. Saad who also makes dolls for them from leftover cloth. The next day, while they are resting, Erisa finds the ruins of a Tori gate. Seeing the ruins make Saad who remember his life in the previous world 
but since he had also made a temple-themed game before, he was curious if those memories were of the prior world. After that Saru got the Undead King's relics, one of which was a shadow magic spell. Sadhu thinks that the magic in the world is akin to a programming language, therefore he did various research to create new types of magic. At that time he was so focused on doing it that he didn't realize that his hand had touched Nana's boobs. In the middle of their journey, they met a mouse man. Mia thanked them for protecting her from the previous Undead King attack. Mia also prays for the mouse man who died while saving her. Arriving in the city, Sato went to a place to eat alone and treated everyone there. Then Satu was taken to the room by a beautiful woman and performs the night service full of pleasure. The next day, Saad, who went to a town to buy some ingredients to make potions. But when he got there, Satu was interested in magic scrolls. So Saad, who decided to disguise when buying it, when Sato entered the illusory forest alone at night, suddenly he was attacked by a sorceress student. Unable to fight, Satu, the young witch, gave up and called her teacher a magician who ruled the illusory forest. Knowing that Sadhu is escorting me up, he welcomes Satu while she's even willing to give a special potion recipe. If Soto wants to help her the next day, the magician's apprentice is in trouble because a group of people destroys the potion to be sent to the nobles. The nobles deliberately did all this so that the agreement between the two regions was cancelled so they could seize the illusory forest currently controlled by the witches knowing this sad who can't let them take the illusory forest at will he plans to make potions again even though the situation is not possible to get a potion bottle sad who asks for help at the craftsman's place but creating the bottle in such a short amount of time was a difficult challenge drying usually takes as long as five days otherwise the bottle will break but Mia uses cooling magic to dry the bottle even Sadu makes a bottle out of clay quickly meanwhile the witch was making potions with the others while the bottle was being heated the previous noble suddenly sent someone to destroy the kiln along with the bottle there but Sad who already suspected that so he moved all the bottles into storage with this they can send potions according to the order quantity but the nobles wanted to avoid citing even though the potion had been received then came a noble Quan Yu who was very disappointed that bad people ruled his city he revoked all his power rights for having committed treason he intends to kill them foreign however he was stopped by Saad who because there were children then all the problems are solved and Satu and the others can continue the adventure. The next day, Nana begs Sada to channel magic energy into her body so it can restore her strength. On the other hand, Zina gets a letter from Satu about his journey. The next day in the morning, Saad, who becomes a harem king, surrounded by many beautiful girls. And that is it for today. Support us by subscribing and liking our video. You can watch our other videos like The Girl Who Falls Off a Cliff and becomes a billionaire which will be shown in the end credits. Thanks for watching. See you soon.